energy transferred from this ball to this cup. Today, we're going to investigate and explore how energy is transferred. Remember, energy is what get things or help things move. We can look at potential energy, energy that is stored. Energy that is stored can be stored at a greater amount depending on where that object is located. And all objects have stored energy, just like we do. And kinetic energy is when that object is released and travels or this ball travels down and it puts the ball in motion. We're, then we're looking at our kinetic energy. But today, we're going to try out different types of balls to see how that energy is transferred and collides with this cup to see if it makes an impact on the cup. We have four types of balls. Ball one, this green ball. Let's test it out to see how it bounces. All right, you saw that one. Ball two, it's a little bit smaller than this ball, but let's see how it acts when we bounce it. All right, it has a little bit more height, doesn't it? Ball three, it's about the same size of the green ball, but maybe a little bit bigger. Let's bounce it. Oh, much higher. And ball four, this is the biggest ball. And I will also tell you it's the heaviest ball. Let's bounce and see what happens. It doesn't bounce. So we're going to test out the balls and we have our ramp at 15 centimeters. We're going to test each ball and see how far the cup will move when the ball, when the ball makes an impact on the cup. And we call this impact collision. And so it will collide into the cup. If you've seen football players on the field and you have two football players, let's use this ball, and they're running down the field and then of course there's this tackle. When this guy is coming here and he's running as fast as he can and he has a lot of energy and so is this guy, they collide. But which one moves back or which one gets the harder hit? Think about that as we go through our explorations today with our balls. Make a prediction. Which ball do you think will have the greatest impact on moving this cup when it rolls down the ramp? Ball one, ball two, ball three, or ball four. Let's test ball one. All right, and we're going to measure. We're going to measure in centimeters. 10 centimeters. It moved the, the cup 10 centimeters. So remember that, ball one, 10 centimeters. Let's test ball two. Do you think it would move it farther or not? Ball two. All right, let's measure. This time we have five centimeters. Five centimeters, half the distance. Ten centimeters, five centimeters. Let's go with ball three. Did anyone predict ball three to move it the fathers? Let's test. Ah, ball three. Three centimeters. Three centimeters. So let's go with that again. Ten centimeters. Five centimeters. Three centimeters. Now we're going to test this one. Will it push it farther? Remember, this one has a greater mass. It is heavier than all the other balls. The other balls have air inside. 
this ball has some type of other substance inside of it. Let's test this one and see what occurs. Oh, wow, it knocked it off. So we're going to say, because of the ruler, we're going to say 30 centimeters plus. Because if I actually measured where it is on the floor, it's probably going to be about 60 centimeters. So with that, did you predict ball four to have the greatest impact on the collision? Ball four had the greatest impact. Will it make a difference if we change the height of the ramp? we're going to move one book and when we move that one book it's going to move the height will be 12 centimeters so i'm going to move this book and bring it down will we have the same impact a greater impact or less impact remember earlier i said if there were two football players running down the field and they ran and collided into each other, which would have the impact, the greatest impact, this player or this player? After that first part of the investigation, what do you think now? Let's test again and we're going to measure and we want to see if now that the ramp is lower, Will the speed change? Will the transfer of the energy change? Is there less energy because we lowered the ramp? Is there less potential energy? And will there be less kinetic energy? Let's test the first ball. Oops, let's try that again. Okay, it kind of did a double Push, but we'll still go right here. Seven, seven centimeters. Remember when it was 15 inches high, it was 10 centimeters. All right, let's test ball two. This one was five centimeters before. And this one is four centimeters, four centimeters. Just one centimeter less. And let's test this one. This one was three. Ah, barely moved. This one is actually one centimeter. So we can see already there is less impact. Let's test this ball to see what impact it has. Will it collide off the table again, or will it just push it slightly? Let's test. All right, so it did turn, and it didn't necessarily push it off, but I think it would have went farther if I had more of a surface. Not as far, but farther. So, we have tested potential and kinetic energy based on the speed of the ball and based on the height of the ramp. If you have noticed and observed, the higher the ramp, the more energy was stored, the greater the impact we had. The lower the ramp, less energy was stored and less impact on the cup. I want you to try this out Get you some balls, different balls, and test out energy. Test out kinetic energy, potential energy, and test out, you'll be testing out force. Force is a push or a pull. And the greater the force, it's going to be the greater the impact. Thanks, friends, for coming in today and having fun with me exploring balls rolling down the ramp. Have a great day and I will see you next time on Michelle Gay Science Teacher.